What is happening guys and welcome back to Redbeard's Garage. On today's episode, we got my daughter a new 150 cart. Now we here at Redbeard's Garage love the 150s. A lot of people always ask us uh, what engines to swap out on them. I think the 150s are one of the best small go-kart engines you can go with. Uh, the suspensions are normally great on them. Uh, they could use a little improving, but they're all around a great cart. The engines perform well, you can big bore them. So uh, we got my daughter a new 150. Let's go check it out, get it in the garage, and get her running. So this is starting to look like a junkyard out here. But this is a candy uh, go-kart. These are, uh, you don't see these often in my parts, but they're a little weird looking. They look cool other than the super narrow row cage. Now, if you notice, this is the same thing that Coleman has just came back out with. I don't think they've changed anything. They just pretty much slapped a new brand on it and brought it out. So now you can get this as a Coleman or a Yerf dog, but this originally was a candy cart. I think this still has a little VIN plate on it. Uh, it might tell what it is, and it does not. So the guy told me the only thing that was wrong with this is the brakes are seized up. I'm sure it might need a carb and stuff on it. And luckily, Go Power Sports sells these carbs with a performance jet already in them. So they're already ready for a open air filter setup. And someone's already done that. You can see the air filters fell off on this thing. So we're going to pull this thing in the shop. First, we're going to drain all the fuel and uh, swap the gas lines out. See if it'll start with that carb. If not, we'll replace that, get it running first. Then we'll work on the brakes. So let's get to it. So I already checked the tank and it is bone dry in there. So we're gonna pull off this fuel line. It is pretty crusty. Go ahead and replace it with a brand new one. See that fuel filter is pretty rough. Fuel line's pretty stiff, so that'll be nice getting a new fuel line fuel filter. And then we can pour some gas in see if she'll start. So this go-kart has 3 16 fuel line on it putting some fresh 3 16 on there the other one was extremely loose so now we got the fuel line replaced I'm gonna go ahead and pull off whatever well I didn't even need a screwdriver they've got that restricted down so small it's crazy we'll probably be replacing the carb but we're gonna see if it'll start up with uh, with the carb on there and if so we'll just slap an air filter on it and be good to go take this thing for a rip knot. It doesn't look like we have any kind of leaks. So just fell and our petcock is leaking just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it up because I do not want this thing to leak in any fuel. So we're going to pull that carb off. It's uh, gummed up. So we got that new carb swapped out. Let's see if she's gonna start. All 
All right, so now I'm gonna get an air filter put on this thing and then we can check out the brakes. He said it did have a problem with the brakes. We don't have a battery that'll fit down in the battery box. So I may zip tie this one somewhere just for the time being, but I will be getting a battery for it tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, she's almost ready to ride. As long as the brakes work, we're gonna check the oil too and then give her over it. All right, so it seems like this brake master cylinder is froze up. The two pistons inside of it are just stuck all the way in. So this is actually not pushing anything. So we're gonna remove this brake master cylinder and go power sport sells these exact replacements. You can get them with the lines and calipers or you can get them just by their self uh, and each individual caliper and everything, you know, unassembled. But uh, so we're gonna pull this off. We're gonna keep all the lines because they look to be in okay shape and just replace this master cylinder and then have to bleed out the brakes. Looks like a 10 millimeter bolt. So we got a 12 socket on one side, 10 wrench on the other. It's pretty rusty in there. So now we can uh, undo the clamps holding down the brake lines, take off the brake lines with a 12 and then we can replace that thing. So we got the brakes all installed and bled. It's pretty much the same process as the days on that we did uh, in a few videos back. So her car's ready to go and it has all these standard really crappy lights on. It's got two on the road cage. It's got two on the dash. It's got signals on front and back. And then also it has a brake, two brake lights. So these uh, old chrome brake lights, you can see it's got separation happening. So we went on Amazon and your boy went shopping for his kid. Yeah. We got, uh, we're gonna replace all the headlights with these cheap LEDs. Uh, let's hope no water gets in them. Ooh. Uh, then we got two motorcycle brake lights that are smoked. So we'll replace those and we got some LED turn signals. So we're gonna put all these lights on and upgrade her with some LEDs. So I'm putting all these lights on, soldering on the original connectors to the new lights. And what a pile of garbage these Chinese fog lights are. These things, uh, do not go on eBay and buy these. They are awful. So I thought, I bought these lights before and I thought they was metal, like all metal housings and stuff, all aluminum. Well, these are plastic and a lot of them had like a super big gap right here and you can't tighten it up enough to close it. It's almost like they didn't thread it all the way in here. But uh, these things are garbage and they are going back to the seller who's selling them. They was like 40 bucks, I think, for four of these. And uh, it, like I said, I thought they was all aluminum. They're plastic. They're junk. So uh, I'm going to have to order something else. I don't think I like the, lock, the look of the big round pods on the front. I don't know yet. Um, but I may order just a better version of this style lot. But uh, the signal lights, uh, I'll turn the camera around. I don't know. They look good but they're kind of tiny so we'll look at them so i don't know if i like those uh red fog lights uh they might block the driver's view maybe but uh there's a signal so let me turn the switch on so this go-kart has the key switch of course you turn it on tells you if you're in l i'm guessing stands for low range i don't know but it does have neutral and reverse and the horn does not work we got to put her a new horn on there but it has headlight switch and fog light switch so nothing changes between fog lights and headlights. Uh, but you also have a signal right here. So let's turn the signal on. I do like the signal light quite a bit. I've only replaced that one. Look at that headlight. How many lights are bad in it? Just awful. And 
like when you hit these lights so let me see you can hear that and look at the gap and this won't tighten anymore because they didn't thread it deep enough or something like what a pile of garbage so i'm gonna leave these or i'm gonna order the new lights and i'm gonna go ahead and cut these pigtails off i soldered the original pigtails on there and uh get that replaced but i can go ahead and put these signal lights on and also i bought these brake lights motorcycle brake lights i got like a little slant to them and of course the bolt pattern is wider than the original ones so i'm gonna have to make the have to make an adapter flange or weld something to it you know that spaces it out because i do want brake lights on this thing but uh yeah what a bust All right, so all the headlights are on, the front signal lights are on, uh, but I'm having a problem with the the rear lights. So let's go ahead and turn switch off. And I started, I ran the signal, there were signals down here, so I wanted to put everything inside the tail light. So went on eBay, went on eBay and ordered these motorcycle tail lights with signals because the other set that I had did not have signals in them. Once I soldered up the pigtail and everything, it just will not, the signal will not blink. And this go-kart seems to just have running lights, not actual brake lights, uh, the way it's wired up, which is extremely weird. But, uh, so I'm gonna wait just a little bit. Probably gonna go ahead and wire these up, uh, its own pigtail in a future video. But for now, I'm just gonna leave the headlights on it. And uh, we'll probably go ahead and mount these just to be running lights so you can just see her at night. But we also went on eBay and bought this SSL Soundstorm Labs speaker setup. This is for a four-wheeler. It goes on the front rack or rear rack and it mounted perfectly right there. So uh, all I gotta do is hook up the power and I also added a USB charger to her dash. So she has a double uh, high amperage charger to charge her phone. So last thing we need to do before Windrock, uh, electrical wise, is we're gonna put a phone mount. I'm gonna add a bar right here that'll let the phone mount mount to because there's not a good spot for it and then she'll have all of her accessories hooked up now in the next video we're going to be taking this thing out and riding it and doing some testing we're going to climb the hill see how fast or even even if it will climb the hill we're also going to do a top speed run and we've got a lot of performance parts we're going to put on on the next video so we'll do it before and after the performance parts to show you how much power you can squeeze out one of these 150s uh, i may make it into a several video type series where we do the cvt in one video and then we do the cam and carb in the other video but this thing's going to put a ton more power down so let me know what you think about all the accessories i'm not crazy about those lights up there looks like mickey mouse ears but uh, for now it'll work we might add her a light bar or something up there instead but i just wanted to get some lights on it so they can ride around the field at night and those speakers also have led rings uh, inside of them so the speakers glow whatever color you want so we just wanted to make this car super nice because she used to have the zerk on and someone offered to buy it from us for their kids for christmas and it was a price we couldn't refuse so uh, she made some money i made some money and we got her this cart so it was a good deal at the end of the day guys let me know in the comment section below what you think about this cart and also make sure to check out the parts list in the video description everything we used on this and will use will be linked down there so even the parts we're going to be using in the next video you can find down there in the video's description so we're wanting to show you guys how much power we can squeeze out of this 150 before big boring it we'll let it blow up before we big bore it but uh yeah she's got a good little cart the old candy so let us know what you think we love you guys thank you and god bless